What's up, YouTube? Oh, man, I've been wanting to do this video for so long for you guys, but uh, my phone's been trashed out there pretty much. Um, so I had to wait until I go on home time before I could actually get my actual phone back because I didn't have my um, my original phone, which I ha which I really ha which I have now. I had left that phone at home before I went on orientation. You know, I was out there for a little while before I um, before I came back came back home for a uh, home time. What's been going on at Trans Am? Oh man, a lot of shit, really. At one point in time, I was considering that I was gonna do a lease. I was gonna do a six month lease, try it out and see what it's like, but. And honestly, the way Trans Am works, bro, I don't know if I want to do a lease with Trans Am, you know? You can, like, you can make, you can make better money than, comp than being a company driver by doing lease, but it's risky. It's very risky doing the lease with Trans Am. And I know because I have friends that are lease drivers here. And uh, there's been weeks where they've, they've been in the hole. And for you guys don't know what that For some of you guys that don't know what that means is basically you run for a week. And after your deductions, you get a paycheck with zero or negative meaning you, it can be like negative 80 bucks negative 200 bucks depends on you know all your trips were you all you ran your trips and uh how much how much you spend on fuel because when you're a lease driver you're buying your own fuel you you know you the maintenance of the truck is on you um all that stuff is basically on you so hopefully when you guys go lease, y'all don't break anything, you know, cause it's gonna cost you. Um, I've been out here for what, like maybe two and a half months before I actually went home. Um, I could have been home before that, but uh, put my home time in and they suggested some earlier days and I didn't want those days. So I was like, ah, eh, fuck it. I'm just gonna stay out for the period of time and then I ended up telling them, hey, I wanted to go home. My son's birthday was coming up. Put the home time in for my son's birthday and then I told him that I wanted to do the lease. My driver manager was like, you know what? It's better while you're at company, on the company side for me to get you home. Um, this way it doesn't cost you because when you go lease, for every day that you take off, you have to be careful based on how many miles you are is that's coming out of your pocket for every day that you're off you have to run when you're doing the lease it's not like a company where you still you're still guaranteed a paycheck for whatever miles you ran so she ended up giving me the days earlier um than my son's birthday which today is what saturday my son's birthday is gonna be tuesday the, that's bad because i, I didn't, i'm not gonna get to spend his actual birthday with him but um i did however get to spend the whole week and how did that happen because trans am ain't gonna give you a whole week off but what had happened was they gave me a load to come to florida um which was my home load i was supposed to pick the load up tuesday at 3 30 I was there from Monday night, eight o'clock. Um, they said your appointment wasn't until three, so you know I gotta wait until the next day. So Tuesday came, turns out, sat there for the entire time. When three thirty came, or three o'clock came, for me to be loaded, they had a problem with the computer. The system was down. So, long story short, I got the load at ten o'clock. 11 o'clock in the night on Tuesday. Now my delivery time for Florida was Thursday, 3.30, yeah. And then um, they had to change it. So Trans Am tried to get an appointment for 11 o'clock. 
at night on Thursday. And then they changed that again to Friday at 5.30. So I'm like, damn, this is my home load. And this thing already messing up. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm supposed to be home from like Thursday night and get back out there by Sunday. But um, I was like, okay, whatever. So I got there, I arrived from, I made it there from like Thursday, pretty much. Thursday night, like nine o'clock. So I had to sit from Thursday night, nine o'clock, all the way until Friday. And it was a Walmart load, so you can't go to Walmart. If you go there too early, if you go there before your appointment time, they put you in as late. You know, you which you don't want that you, they only allow you an hour window that you can check in before your time. You know what I mean? So it's kind of whatever. But so I waited, got there. Turns out all the PO numbers they gave me, none of the PO numbers worked. They gave me like six different POs. So one finally pulled something up, and they said a driver used that number yesterday to deliver a load. So, with that being said, I didn't have a PO. I didn't have a, a load confirmation, pretty much. Excuse me a minute. I didn't have a load confirmation, appointment. I didn't have an appointment. So, I was there Friday. Um, after I didn't have an appointment, they said... Uh, I should try to get back with my dispatch, try to get these numbers. Now, you know anything about Transav, the communication between you and the dispatch, bro, oof, trying to call them. Oof. If you're somebody that's short tempered or easily stressed out or easily, like, you easily give up. I don't know, bro. Trans Am, Oof. they they know how to. I don't know if they're just really busy, or I don't know if they just ignore it, or I, you can be old, you can be on hold for hours just trying to call. Um. So, long story short, I was there from like five thirty. Five, I think the load appointment was 7.30 and not 5.30. So I was here from like 6.30. Um, tried everything, dude. They said they couldn't get me in. They couldn't get me in without a load appointment. So I had to go back, talk to my dispatch over and over and over and over on the Garmin. I was there till like 10 o'clock at night. They were like, at this point, we can't help you. Like, we got to give you a load. A new load appointment. We gotta give you a new load appointment at this at this time, you know, because it's already too late. And that load appointment is gonna be the earliest, 3:30, the next day. So, went back the next morning. This girl was nice enough. I don't know who she called, but she called somebody, and they were able to come up with a number and said the PO number is not cancelled so they gonna give me a new load appointment which was for which was for uh, Saturday it was gonna be Saturday 430 you know what I mean so I got there 430 they got me in the door when I went to the back of the trailer to open the doors the trailer uh, Two of the pallets tilted over. I was just having a bad week. So it took much longer than usual to get unloaded because I had to back open one side of the door back inside for them to fix it. I never got unloaded until Saturday night. Um Saturday night at like 10, 10 o'clock there about before I got finished unloading. And that was my home time. They had me coming back out on Sunday, which was my home time, which is when my home time was supposed to be finished. And this is Saturday, so I, I still ain't even been home as yet. So I sent my empty in, and sure enough, they sent me a load that picks up on Sunday. 
So I'm like, nah, that ain't gonna happen. That's not gonna happen. There's no way that's gonna happen. <laughs> I'm not taking that load, you crazy. So I, you know, I, I didn't refuse the load because as, as a company driver, you can't refuse loads. But I, they called me asking for my load commitment. And I told them like, yo, listen, Tell my driver manager to call me because I was supposed this is a situation I got the load 10 hours late. None of the POs work that you guys gave me, so it was delivered late. So I basically have no home time. You're telling me get back out there, that's not gonna work. I'll tell my driver manager, give me a call. She was nice enough to take the load off me the next morning. Um, so I got home like Sunday morning at like one, right. After I got home, give me a second, very quick. Um, after I got home, Sunday morning, I stayed home until Tuesday. Yeah, so I was supposed to get back out there the Wednesday. Now they sent me a load which was going to pick up on Wednesday. They said it was a drop, so I had time. I could be there by 12 midnight on Wednesday to get the load or whatever. So I was like, okay, yeah, that's fine. So I go do my pre-trip, do my pre-trip. Then I noticed something was wrong with the truck. Luckily the truck was still parked. The truck was parked at my house. Um, so noticed something was wrong, car road assist. They ended up having a truck towed. Now they towed the truck from Wednesday and when they towed, it, they they towed the truck on Wednesday, um, I ended up getting a few days more as the truck was being fixed. Um, I just got my truck back yesterday. You know what I mean? So I ended up getting like a full week off. It all worked out, you know what I mean? Because I really needed it. I've been out there so long. Son's birthday is coming up. So I got to spend some time with my kid, which was good. And my family also. Um, yeah, so now I'm back out there, you know? Waiting on my uh, pickup time to go get this load to go back to Kansas. I'm in Florida right now. Uh, somebody was asking in the comments if they will take you with a preventable accident. No, I'm not going to give you misleading information, but um, I can tell you I've met people at Trans Am that they had speeding tickets felonies, accidents on their record and Trans Am still gave them a shot. You know what I mean? In my opinion, Trans Am is like a second chance company. It's not the best company, but the good thing about it is that they're a second chance company. You know what I mean? So I'd say give it a shot. Call a recruiter and, you know, talk to them and see how exactly it works out. Uh, somebody was asked, also asking about pay. Um, bro, pay wise, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. The paying, the paying that great as a company driver. You know what I mean? On the lease side, you can make like 1,200 bucks. That's running really hard a week. Um, but that's paying for your all your fuel and all that stuff. Like I said, it's a big risk doing it because you got to know what you're doing you'll mess up very easy and you know what i mean it's just a risk that i'm not willing to take you can but you can make 1200 to a thousand bucks a week on the lease side company i don't know about other company drivers because to my understanding they do a lot of relays for me i run a lot i haven't done I think I have only done like two relays since I've been here as a company driver, to be honest with you. Um, the other company drivers, they have been doing relays all the time. They sit a lot. I sit, I wouldn't say a lot, but I sit, um, I get miles. I run like 3,000 miles sometimes, 2,600 miles. And I'm averaging between six, 700 bucks a week. You know what I mean? Like I said, it's not the best. But uh, I'm just working with it until, you know, better comes. Um, what else? 
it's been a lot of so much man i wish i could i wish it was i wish i was able to vlog in when all these things were going on but uh like now that i got my phone i'll be able i'll definitely be able to give you guys more videos and more updates and all that stuff you know what i mean uh one night i was parked at a a truck parking off the highway just got there like 30 minutes went in a sleeper bird and heard this loud banging on my door so i come out there's like lights flashing cops all kinds of, i was like damn did i did somebody hit my truck did i park bad or what so they're like yo open up open up i was like shit so i flip the lights on open the doors they hop up in the truck they didn't come inside but they hop up in the truck and they had like flashlights shining all you know so i'm like what can i help you guys with they're like yo how long have you been here so i'm like i'm here 30 minutes now they're like are you sure i'm like yeah so it's like um did you happen to see a blue truck pass through here and uh a little girl possibly running from the truck so i'm like nah man shit I just got here put my sleeper bird go off duty put my post trip in and went a sleeper bird like it's not my truck so apparently somebody witnessed uh like a kidnapping or not a kidnapping uh like human trafficking you know what i mean and my truck's a blue truck and they thought it was the same parking lot but it wasn't you know what i mean so they then they realized it wasn't me and they just apologized and pretty much left but and it's wild out here on on this road bro don't lie like it's a lot of stuff it's a lot of stuff that you see a lot of stuff you going on i'm gonna tell you bro like i'm gonna tell you like trans am can be a stressful place to work for though in my honest opinion yeah they can be stressful can be a stressful environment just by dealing with you know and people go over the phone and all that stuff. Some of them are nice. Some of them like get stuff done, but I don't know, bro. I read all the reviews before I came over here. I, I just wanted to start, so I'm not complaining, but I'm just telling you guys facts. Don't think that, you know, it's all better roses over here or it's all nice and dandy. Nah, maybe. Other trucking companies have their faults also. Like my homeboy always says, it's always gonna be something. It's always gonna be something. You know, maybe it's different with um, Trans Am, but for what, for what you're being paid, sometimes I question myself, like, is it really worth it? You know what I mean? I'm getting experience, so I ain't really tripping like that. You know what I mean? But yeah, I just wanted to give you guys an update on what's, going on you know what i mean as usual don't forget like comment subscribe um any questions you guys got feel free drop them below in the comment section or send me them in the inbox i'll try my best to help you guys out in whatever way i can you know peace out